So for those of you that might have been sleeping under a fucking rock, Bioshock Infinite came out this week. Some of the classic elements of the Bioshock series were the little sisters, the big daddies, the plasmids, the fucking ambiance of the game. That fucking steampunk feel that they had in the first two games. It was fucking absolutely amazing. I'll tell you, I don't know what the fuck they're trying to do with this fucking piece of shit. I feel like I'm playing Assassin's Creed 3 all over again, even with the goddamn shitty textures. Let's start off with the beginning of the fucking game. I felt like turning it off the minute they asked me to get fucking baptized. No, sorry. Didn't ask. Made me get fucking baptized. I'm a fucking practicing atheist. I go to the Church of Atheism every goddamn week, and I fucking practice that shit. You are infringing on my religious rights, making me get fucking baptized so that I can continue playing a goddamn video game? Are you fucking serious right now? On a side note, I had one of my videos taken down recently off of YouTube because it had me with my shirt off, bouncing in slow motion. I live in Florida! It's fucking hot as shit here! I have my balls sticking to my thighs 24 hours a goddamn day. Do you have any idea how hard it is to be almost 500 pounds in subtropical fucking heat? You know, fuck this shit. I'm fucking hot right now. I'm fucking taking my goddamn fucking shirt off. Because you know what happens? I get fucking pissed off at video games like fucking Bioshock Infinite. And sometimes I need to fucking cool down. Sometimes I don't have a nice goddamn cold Budweiser to fucking cool myself. So I take my fucking shirt off and rub my goddamn tits around a little bit. If you got a problem with that, then I got a fucking problem with you. I'm sure we can all agree that one of the biggest elements of all of the Bioshock games were the fucking Big Daddies. It is not a Bioshock game without Big Daddies. Where the fuck are the goddamn Big Daddies? There's not one goddamn Big Daddy in the whole fucking game! And not a single little sister to be seen either! Can you tell me what the fuck is with going opening a fucking drawer and finding hot dogs, popcorn, and soda? Every fucking drawer and box in the whole fucking game has hot dogs in it! I I've been shot. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Get down! Oh! I need... I need some health! Throw me some fucking health! Oh! Oh, finally some health! Oh, hot dog! Oh, yeah! Oh, I need ammo! 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 Oh, yes! Salts! Gotta have salts. Yes. I need to do videos like this more often. Where the fuck? Who the fuck puts hot dogs in drawers? No one puts a hot dog in a fucking drawer. You keep it in the goddamn fridge or you shove it in your fat goddamn fucking face. You know, the other Bioshock games had this really awesome thing called plasmids. They were special abilities that you can use in one hand while wielding a gun in the other. It was a fucking perfect combination of power. It made you feel awesome. This game has fucking vigors. What the fuck was wrong with plasmids? Why did we have to go to vigors? You know, the previous Bioshock games were really fucking challenging. This game is a fucking piss take. You fucking, you run out of ammo, you fucking go low on health. Oh, you got this little fucking cunt standing next to you. Oh, here's some fucking health. Oh, here's some fucking ammo. Are you trying to use that vending machine? You don't have money? Here's a goddamn fucking coin. You know what? How about you let me fucking play the game for myself? Let me find the ammo. Let me find the health. Let me find the money. That's what games are supposed to be. They're supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be me out there against the goddamn world, not some little fucking tart in a goddamn blue dress telling me what the fuck to do. Little fucking stupid bitch with her goddamn Alice in Wonderland dress jumping around. Ooh, look at me. I'm Elizabeth. I can, I can lock, I can pick locks. I'm really good at picking locks. How come you were locked in that fucking room and the only way to get out was picking a lock and you did it the second I got there? Why didn't you do that for the whole fucking first 16 years you were locked in the fucking room? And what the hell happened to the multiplayer? There was multiplayer in Bioshock 2. It was the best multiplayer I've ever played in my whole fucking life. I was looking forward to playing this game and fucking prestiging. I was going to go to 15th Prestige, unlock the Golden Thompson, and fucking kill some motherfuckers. I don't got no plasmids. I ain't got no Thompson. I ain't got no fucking idea what the fuck I'm even talking about it anymore. I don't have, they don't have fucking multiplayer. Where the fuck's the multiplayer? Where is it? Where's the goddamn multiplayer? I want a fucking prestige, son. I'm fucking Call of Duty Hardcore to the max MLG, son. So 
juicy, sweet. You know, I seriously hope that if they ever decide to do another Bioshock game, they get their fucking shit together. Go back to Rapture. The game was founded on Rapture. You're taking it to this new fucking shit city. The whole fucking world is linear. Ooh, ooh, so what? I can go left and I can go right and explore a fucking bathroom and pick up some coins. And then I'm back on my linear little path. How about you fucking give me a little variety? Give me some fucking decisions that actually makes, you know, actually count towards something. Not choosing whether a fucking coin is heads or tails when someone flips it, or picking what kind of necklace Elizabeth is going to wear the rest of the fucking game. How about you actually give me some choices that matter? Something that has an effect on the outcome of the goddamn end of the game, like Mass Effect 3! Yeah, let's it for the murderer, and the killer, and the thugsters. They be fucking up the ballers, and the dealers, and the hustlers Got me coming at you, bogus in the B.I. while they rubbin' lunch, I'm a Russian It's a psycho nigga, twist up from Chicago, rollin' with the Miami nigga, better crush ya We already